Good morning, afternoon, evening, and good night, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Clover. So if we go in here, there's a guy uh, who's a dive instructor. So if we uh, go deposit a Pokemon, we can get a new Pokemon from him. And, uh... Otherwise, uh, you can't get HM8, or you can't get Dive um, via any TM or HM. Uh, so you actually do have to uh, just get a Pokemon who actually learns it. Now, I still have uh, Sminem, the Marionettle, and uh, he knows Dive, so I don't really need this one, but we can still buy him and get ourselves a new Pokemon. And we're gonna name him... John. Because we got ourselves... a Beatles Pokemon. And when he evolves, it's very, even more obvious of a uh, Beatles reference. Anyway, let's go to Closet Ham and start taking a look around Torbor Bay. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. Uh, I got that classic uh, Monkey Island references. I'm assuming this is knockoff. Yep. I think I'm actually gonna learn this. But not on him. Eh. Oh, we'll hold off on that. Let's continue exploring. I leech. Good uh, specials. No. And Terry's over here now. Oh, hey, it's you. This place is great. The warm sea breeze, the salty air, the flipper mimicking my hand gestures. I think I'll stay here for the time being. And that's gonna be the last place where I'll ever see him. I've been seeking our great white whale, the Pokemon, not your father's wife. Nope, no seeds for you. Oh, Captain Cut's house is over here. Yeah, we can sell uh, some of the balls we got. Uh, the monster balls. I think that's the only thing he'll buy, is the monster ball. Citrus berry, heck yeah. Well, I just leashed your citrus berry, so no. Came here for Boogie, but everybody's ass is so flat. No. I never see. The 
are. You see that one over there? <laughs> oh, well, there was that guy who wanted to buy a jar of pee, so that's this is where you get it. Uh, he's in the man cave, and he'll teach you uh, earth, po uh, earth power. and all the uh, post-game super bosses into another episode, as well as an extra episode of things you'll probably miss on your first playthrough. So let's take a look at that gym. And it is a fairy type gym, so this is why I brought the fire. Yeah, penis. Yeah, penis. Yeah. Ah, the old gachi edits. So, uh, you know, it's a whole town of pirates. Well, this is a different kind of pirate. Just keep your butt clenched, I'm sure everything will go fine. Dark hole. Oh, this whole place is gonna be a uh, gachi reference. Welcome to the welcome to the dungeon. I will be your guide for pleasure. I remember when I first found out about uh, the Ultimate Muscle Muscle Roller Legend. I uh, I didn't even know what gachi was. And I just thought it was the funniest and weirdest video I'd ever seen. I got a spank. Yeah. Penis. Yeah. Penis. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a very long process of getting around this area to find all the, uh... Hey kid. Hey kid, do you like S&M? And she realized that's actually a lass, not a, uh... Yeah. Beauty Yvonne. You thought I meant sun and moon? Of course not, sweetie. Ultimate Muscle Roller Legend. 
Yeah, that was the that was the first sketchy video I watched. How do you like that, huh? Yeah. Penis. Yeah. Penis. Yeah. Yeah. Where to go? Yes, I think so. There we go. You look like you could satisfy me. Come on. That's good. Keep going. Almost done. Dr. Rim. 
I missed yeah. what he said there. Penis. Yeah. Penis. Yeah. 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 Sir, one of the reasons. Okay, and let's go to store powers. I swear to God, if he just gets a crit out of nowhere. So his Drag King actually has his hidden ability, which uh, he heals off of poison-type attacks. So he's only really got a steel-type weakness. Set. Don't be doing that to me. Oh, not quite. 
that Moonblast shouldn't do a whole lot. Yeah, not really. But that'll do something. Yeah. And he's probably gonna have his huge faggot, which is uh, Flamboyant's signature what uh, item. Second gym leader, or the second Evan gym. I don't recall having a big issue with him anyway. Broly messed me up. But Bobby, Van Darkholm. Oh, right, uh, Cold Steel. Cold Steel messed me up. You managed to defeat me. You definitely know Jabroni. Take the leather trophy. Subjecting yourself to this gym is worth it. But from what it looks like, I feel you've seen worse. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Alright, and now that we've uh, not only finished all previous four uh, Ebon gyms, but we also stopped the um, Team Karma attack in Telekino as well as encounter them at the Indian Bay, or the Indian Cave. Excuse me. We can actually head back to the uh, previously unfinished gym. Uh, we need our HM slate for that. Uh, and there's a gym over there now. I need a... Why did I need Bandash? Take the boat there. So he's over here now. We head up, I want to say, nope, not here. But here. Singles Island Pokemon Gym. Leaders, Nomel and Reggie. Who's Reggie? Gym Design 101. Well, I guess the gym's not quite done yet, but... It's Nomel and... Little Bro? Surprised? Triple threat, not double threat. Why triple threat? All right. So I guess little bro's name is Reggie. So Nomel is normal focused, while Lil Bro has his bunch of his carryover team from previous. Oh, 
that's gonna suck. I was not wanting that lovely kiss to miss. Hopefully hits the Pyro Link. Fuck. Well, down he goes. Or not. But you hit the wrong target. I should kill the birdhouse with bad dreams. Unless... Okay, this time I hit the power link. And killed it. Perfect. Send it in Sub Daddy. Alright, we got Spruce Affix locked down. What is that? Geist Beam. I've never even heard of that attack. Sleep for another turn. Spruce effects, unless it's super tanky. No. Oh, but he's gonna go for the shadow clock. Okay. Down goes the spruce effects. 
That was one of the Wolkman I was worried about. And there's the Han Raid. got an unburdened set. Oh. Life orb set. Okay. Let's try that for you again. So this is actually gonna be the last time I fight with these with this party. I'm actually gonna completely re rebuild my team for the final arc, and um, I think I'm going to bring back some of the aces throughout the throughout the playthrough. Which means uh, Chris is coming back. trophy, and that's a wrap. Incredible. And Lil Bro's actually having fun battling again. That's the reason we battle, isn't it? Elite, you have fun when you battle too. I can see it in your eyes. So, now it's time for the finale. So, I'm going to figure out a team uh, to bring into the endgame. I think at least it's going to feature uh, Chris. I'm thinking uh, Chris Chan... Toxoraptor? Maybe Toxoraptor. Maybe Hydrox. Uh, I think I'm gonna try using Bite a Key, unless uh, if he's got a good nature. Yeah. Um. Walrus? Yeah, I think I'll bring back Walrus, uh, our good Carolyn girl, and let's see.
Hmm. So I've got two ground types there, but... for most of the thing, because I'm going to need my HM Slave. Um, no, I already have a nice type. And a flying type. <sighs> no, let's do this. I think that'll be my party. If I decide to change it around at all, um, I'll show you the party before we start next episode. But this will be... I think this will be my party. Uh, as for... Anything else, we'll have to go up to uh, the next area to check it out. So for now, we'll, uh, I'll talk to you next time here on the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Clover.